Good morning, guys. Today I'm planting profusion zinnias in my on my front walkway uh, in my front yard. Last year I planted them in May, and they lasted all the way up until September. Now I probably could have cut them back, and they would have reflushed. So these zinnias could have lasted me all that time, uh, but I chose to take them out in September, and I replaced them with zinnias. Um, it is good to deadhead them that uh, it promotes uh, more dense flowers. They are resistant to those pesky insects like mites, and aphids, and thrip, and they are resistant to um, powdery mildew. I have a sprinklers right here that need to, they need to be replaced with drip. So I'll have to dig those up, move the sprinkler head so I can run drip right here. I said that because a lot of your annuals do not like overhead water. Most of them don't. These didn't mind it last year. I'll insert a video so you can see just how full and lush they grew. Um, so that'll be on my list in the fall or winter, since our winters here are very mild, uh, to try and get that drip system going here. And I should have done it a long time ago. I just, I, it's just something that I haven't gotten to. So they come in flats of multicolors which is orange, yellow, white, and cherry. And I did the multicolor last year, but this year I'm gonna do all cherry. So I got a flat for each side and um, I'm gonna implant it up. Well, it looks like I'm all done. We had a little bit of a rainstorm that came through, so I had to take a break, which was okay. I made my boys some lunch, came back here and finished it out. I wanted to clarify about the sprinklers. We had these installed when we redid the whole lawn. We gutted the entire lawn and the walkway. We had this walkway custom uh, done for us. And when we had these sprinkler heads put in, I don't know if I was thinking of the flower bed at the same time because we were just thinking of strictly having grass. I do need to move these. Most of your annuals do not like overhead water. So what I'll do is move this sprinkler head to the edge of the grass and then tap into it and run drip. You can do that. It can still sprinkle on one, on one end and you can tap into it and run a drip on the, on, on the same head. I should have done that. <laughs> before I did the flowers, but we'll probably do it in the fall, maybe winter. It's mild. Uh, we have mild winters here. I don't get any snow or anything like that, so I'll probably do that at the end of the year. I had some leftovers. I'll probably put them out in the rest of the yard. These guys love butterflies. They're resistant to pests, but my biggest problem with annuals are snails. I have a lot of agapanthus here, and they live. They love to live in the agapanthus. So I will have to periodically put snail food out. But other than that, they're really uh, resistant to powdery mildew and the, um, the pests. They, you know, I don't get any mites or um, aphids or thrip on these, on these uh, zinnias. I decided instead of getting multicolored, like last year I got multicolored and I'll insert a small clip of what they looked like last year. And I had the orange, the yellow, the white, and um, the cherry. This year I decided to just go pure one color. And even though it says cherry, you're thinking red. So I'm not sure how the color reads on film, but they're almost like a magenta, deep, deep, deep pink. So I think when they all fill in, they'll just be this big swoop of pink flowers. Um, I'm excited to see what it looks like. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye.